What's up, small fries? I'm Sarah Proto, and I hope you liked the video. Howdy, small fries. I'm here with Mabel, and we're looking at WikiHouse. Furry WikiHouse. I'm expecting highly specific, weirdly niche articles and art. And I'm expecting really weird art because I'm expecting the WikiHow people to not be super versed in furry art. So it's the WikiHow people who make the art for it? Uh, WikiHow has the articles, and I think they're user-submitted. Well, that's what, yeah. And then if they do well, they get people to do art for them. Uh, this one is How to Be a Furry. The furry fandom is a large, inclusive community based on the love of anthropomorphic animals. These, fa these animals love to talk, walk on two legs, eggs, they love to walk on two eggs, and behave like a both animals and humans. If you want to celebrate your fanship and express yourself creatively as a furry, welcome aboard. Once you develop a persona, start interacting with other furries online and in real life through conventions and local meetup groups. Explore your creative interests and see how they tie into the furry community, whether it means creating fan art or fursuiting. Remember, you don't need to need a fursuit to be a furry. Most importantly, focus on having fun with your furry fanship. It's absolutely correct. You don't need a fursuit to enjoy the furry fandom. I think it's like a fun enhancer. It's like... You don't need top-of-the-line power tools to get into carpentry. You can probably get away with, like, a saw, a hammer, and nails. If you're brave enough, you can use a shampoo bottle. Shampoo bottle for what? You know, wash your hair, you know? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. You're weirding me out. All right. Things you should know. Oh, no. I just... Oh, oh yeah. I just got a glimpse of that. I can't scroll too early. <laughs> I can't scroll too early. You don't need a persona or a fursuit to be a furry. Anyone can be a furry as long as they like anthropomorphic animals. I don't think you need a fursona to be a furry, but I think it would help. The alphabet army. Yeah, I see some alphabet army in here. The furry that community- That me up that that guy said the, the fucking alphabet mafia or whatever. Yeah, the, this dude on Steam Discussions uh, told me that I was part of the alphabet mafia. And I was like, wow, you make us sound so much cooler than we actually are. Or that government official who said uh, alphabet, uh, alphabet army or whatever. Mm-hmm. The furry community is generally very accepting and diverse, and there's a large population of LGBTQ plus individuals within the fandom. There's nothing wrong with being a furry. It's not inappropriate or dangerous. It's a fact. In fact, it's a very healthy and fun way to express yourself. True, I don't have an issue with people, like, if you're a furry, you should just, like, do whatever the hell you want and be cringe. It's okay. You know, I think I'd only want a fursuit for certain reasons. We do have a better sense of uh, basic vocabulary than those people. Yeah, I think, uh, I think LGBT people tend to be on the uh, more educated side because they have to do more research to figure out these things because straightness is, de is treated as the default. They don't have to learn anything to be straight. Being LGBT, you have a lot to learn in order to just like figure out who you are in the first place and then as well as uh, integrating yourself within the community, there's a lot to learn. This is the big reveal. Joining the furry community. It's not the worst. It is definitely a person who has not done furry art before. That's f horrifying. <laughs> that is, this is absolutely someone who isn't familiar with furry art. And I would say potentially not very familiar with humans. I mean, that's pretty good. That's not bad. But oh my god. It's man. not the worst I've seen. What is that? It's like a squirrel. It, it, or I can't fox. tell what it is. It, I'm assuming it's a fox because that's Cat. the most common. But it's like, it could be a cat, it could be a fox, it could be a squirrel, it could be a stoat, it could be a weasel. What is it? <laughs> the motherfucker looks like fucking Sly Cooper. It looks like a, it, it looks like a undone uh, Nick Wilde, like, put him back in the oven, he ain't finished. Over it, the hedge looking. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a bad cake. He looks like a cake from Nailed It with one eye drooping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, make the choice to become part of the furry community. In order to become a member, in order to become a furry, you don't have to have a pass an entry test or get permission from anyone else. They deci the decision to become a furry is completely up to you. It's true, that's true. Uh, don't call anyone a furry unless they actually say they are a furry. Whether you've been interested in furry related things for a while or you're totally new to the community, feel free to proclaim yourself as a furry whenever and how you'd like. I'd say that even if you want to consider yourself a furry, I would say it's worthwhile to hang out with furries and tr like try to participate in the furry community, even if you're someone who's not a furry, just because of the wide range of people that you meet and meeting different people is good for you. It's a good way to open your horizons and change your viewpoint on things. If you want to create your own furry-related characters, meet other like-minded people and or visit furry conventions, 
You'd probably love being part of the furry community, but it's also totally okay to be part of the com part of the community without calling yourself a furry. Right, that's what I just said. If you don't have a strong sense of a strong interest in anthropomorphic animals, but you still want to join the community, the people within it will likely welcome you with open arms. Yeah, we're very open to it. I would say we're probably too open to it. Too many of you dudes are like, uh, like taking offers to go onto the news just because you like having cameras on you. Some of you are, tend to do be a little attention hungry, and I don't think you should accept every I'm offer. Huh? Huh? <laughs> anyway. People aren't automatically furries if they happen to like anthropomorphic animals. They get to choose that for themselves. All right. Uh, that's not too bad, but the man. Okay. That's not too, the the cat isn't too bad, but the man. What the heck is wrong with him? He looks like a wax doll. Me after my edible. Me <laughs> after my edible, flirting with cat boy twinks online. He, oh my god, he looks like uh, he looks like a wax doll version of Zuckerberg. Participate in an on, in online furry groups and discussion boards. Since the furry fandom is a global one, most furry activities happen on the internet. Uh, some places I'd recommend looking for furries, like location specific, uh, the Americas, uh, Brazil, Check Germany, a local furry group, and the UK. Those places seem to have the most furries. Try the mobile furry app, Furry Amino. Don't. 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 Don't, <laughs> don't use Furry Amino. Our website's like, so fur- Huh? What is that one? So furry? Uh, I'm gonna look this one up on a separate browser tab. <laughs> it's what? just full of donut buttholes. Why would they recommend so furry over, like, the community standard of fur affinity? Like, fur affinity sucks. It's an archaic old site and perpetually looks hey, like it's yo! 10 years old. No, actually, there is no, like, bad art, actually. There's nothing, like, there. Yeah, there's no inappropriate art here. There's one. There, there's a, there's a girl in a bathing suit. Lots of registered only art, just like Fur Affinity. So furry just looks like a. It looks a copy paste of Fur Affinity. It looks just like Fur Affinity's layout. Kind of. And that's not something you want to copy because Fur Affinity perpetually looks ten years in the past. Create an account and start commenting, posting, and connecting with other users. Or hop in the furry community on Reddit. R slash furry is a very active sub. And it's easy to get involved in discussions there. You can easily find other furries via Tumblr and DeviantArt, too. Uh, no one's using Tumblr anymore. but Very Tumblr few would, people use Tumblr. Tumblr would be a good place to meet furries because you would at least, if you're new to it, you could at least guarantee that you wouldn't be seeing NSFW art because... Actually, how about you don't meet new furries? How about you don't do that? Because <laughs> honestly, don't meet strangers on the internet. I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of them are weirdos. DeviantArt is probably a good place. But I think the social media sites where it's like centered around art is not a good place to meet people. You won't be meeting people. You'll be commenting and then it will go into the void just like it does on YouTube comments. So it's kind of like that. I don't think you should go to sites like So Furry for Affinity, DeviantArt, Tumblr. I don't think art sites are a good place to meet people. I also don't think Reddit is a good place to meet people because again, it is just plain text posted to a board and then it is ignored forever. Uh, well, there are images that you can post and read it depends though yeah but i don't think it's a good place to meet people if you want to actually meet people you need to be in a live chat you need to be in something no like a Discord. there are better ways to do this not online furry groups go to your local ones go people go to meets maybe because i mean on the internet literally anything happens and there are a lot of weirdos on the internet yeah but i definitely don't recommend furry amino Furry Amino is mostly populated by miners, and because it's mostly populated by miners, it's also populated by a lot of creeps. Yeah. Also, Amino has the worst UI. Look for furry discords. Oh my god, I flashbanged this again. Look for furry Discord servers, Skype groups. Skype groups don't exist anymore. <laughs> they may as well not. Telegram groups for instant messaging. Uh, search through furry pages and tags on regular social media posts like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. You'll find your community there. I think social media is not very good for meeting people because, again, it's just they post, you comment, nothing happens. It's not a place for discussion. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so bad already. Oh, God. Why is that? Oh. <laughs> this is a person who's never drawn furries before. Oh, yuck. Oh, uh, yuck. What is he? Uh, it's his stand. Then the power. <laughs> Moody ewes. <laughs> Moody, 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 oh. Moody, uh, radio. Oh my god, this is hard to look at. It's so wall-eyed.
It looks like it's seen some shit. This guy, this 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 fella right here in the back. This is why you draw with why references. It? It's like bear, cat. Yeah, again, ambiguous species. Dog. Look at that. The ear doesn't connect to the head. With and the tail looks the tail looks like a horse tail. Look at that. The head de the head doesn't connect to the. Oh, I can't zoom in. I see it. Yeah. It it stops at the hair. That's like that. W that's not how you would draw an ear, though. No. Okay. Uh. All right. Making sure furry fan art and creative work. Make sure explore your furry fanship or persona through a hobby or creative project you like. Try f writing fan fiction. Uh, don't. There's enough. <laughs> Creating music, making video animations. Yes. Right. How you... there are so many animation memes out there. I I worry about whether it's oversaturated or not, but I actually don't know. Write about, about it. polishing your giant donut. Vlogging. No, there's enough vlogging uh, furry YouTubers out there. Or it, performing in your fu uh, furry persona. Illustrating persona. Illustrating fan art or performing in your furry persona. Then share your creations on sites like Tumblr, DeviantArt for Affinity, and YouTube. Uh, YouTube is a great place to be a furry if you love being harassed. There's a place for int every interest in the furry fandom. Artists, musicians, authors, dancers, comedians, actors, and others cel celebrate their love of anthropomorphism through creative expression. It's true. There's There are people of all these professions. Uh, the comedians are not so great, especially uh, a certain a certain mythical creature uh, the, with the number two in their name. Artists, musicians, mu there's a lot of musicians too. Don't be afraid to share your work. I'm gonna be honest though, I saw that furry opera, and I've only seen like two episodes of it, and it made me cringe. <laughs> other furries will be very welcoming and supportive of however you combine your furry identity with your other interests. Consider taking your creative work to in-person events too. If you like music, you may be able to DJ at a furry convention. That's true. There, uh, there's also, if you like to dance, there's lots of dance competitions at furry conventions. <laughs> Oh. oh, what was that laugh? <laughs> that sounded like a fake laugh. <laughs> I guess I was caught off guard by the picture on the tablet. Yeah, see, now you're seeing it. I mean, I see it. She's I'm cringing. I'm looking at it. She's gritting her teeth. Yeah, that's it caught me off guard. Take on requests, trades, or commissions to share your creative work. Okay, see, now it's, now it's getting into... This isn't how to be a furry anymore. This is how to monetize your hobby. These are great ways to help other furries get to know okay, you. Okay, but your to work. be fair, like what other is what is a furry exactly? Like there's a certain aspects. Like I don't I don't dress and I don't like I don't have a presence outside of my Twitter. And the only thing I do with my thing is draw fat first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like does that make me a furry or does that make me an artist? I think it can make you both because i don't have i don't have a fursuit or anything like that hell yeah hell yeah to what <laughs> probably this creature open for requests if you want other furries to ask you for free artwork open for trades if you're open to swapping one free artwork for another it's not free if it's trading it's it's cash for cash i wish that's how it fucking worked i wish i could ask just for like trades and stuff like that but no one ever wants to trade with me no because everyone needs money everyone's poor right now if you want to sell your work open for commissions set up an, an info page outlining your terms prices and policies so others know what to expect again this is this is not how to be a furry this is how to be an artist who gets paid specify the type and style of work you'd like to create then spread the word across the online furry community other furries might send you an image or a written description yeah see this is just how to monetize it Oh my god. Oh my god. If I didn't know these were made by a human, I would say it's AI art. It feels like they're tracing on some things. It feels like they trace, and then that they, and then somewhat, and that's what it feels like. Mr. This Beast! This looks like someone's, uh, yeah, this looks like Mr. Beast. The, uh, the one on the right looks like Mr. Beast. The one in the middle with the pink and white looks like, uh, looks like a glam rock, uh, a glam rock... OC from uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. It looks like a glam lock. Glam lock. Glam lock. Glam lock. Glam lock. Holy shit, it does look like a glam lock. <laughs> the one on the left, it looks like a taxidermy that wasn't like properly treated, so it's falling apart. Attend a furry convention to meet other furries in person. Connecting online can be great, but there's nothing quite like meeting other furries in real life and seeing some of the media, creator media creators that you admire. If you can, attend Anthrocon, the largest furry convention that's based in Pittsburgh, PA. Good fucking luck. It is so hard to get into. 
or look for local furry conventions online. While you're while you're there, check out the artwork, well, tails, accessories, badges. First, I mean, you can merchandise. you can get into it. But yeah, there's getting three parts it, you can go to. Well, no, like you can like buy into it. It's not that hard. Like you, it doesn't matter if you have a thing. It's you have getting to re- a hotel there. That's yeah, hard. that's the only part you'd have to sleep in your car. Many furries opt to meet up at conventions since they're safe, public spaces, relatively safe, public spaces. There's a lot of bad shit that still happens at conventions. I'm just saying, don't leave drinks unattended. Uh, if anyone looks suspicious, report them to staff. If you see anybody uh, in in bulletproof vests or wearing World War II helmets, report them to staff. Yeah, uh, just, uh, it's not a guaranteed safe space. Yeah, just because it's furry does not mean it's safe space, because the, you know, the immediate, like, there are still weirdos. And there no are... one knows what the gas, no, still no one has any idea who did the gas attack. Oh, uh, well, that was like a while ago. Good thing it didn't actually kill anybody. Yeah. But there there have been a lot of weird stuff. Like, there have been like a couple of like Anthrocon, or a couple of conventions. I don't think it was like Anthrocon. But people are stupid. Like, I think it may have been Anthrocon, but someone was, uh, or whatever the one that, like, the hotel, like, is a big, has like this huge fucking, like, opening where, like, all the, uh, balconies of the apartment or the, uh, of the, uh, bedrooms all, like, come out to, and then all sits there, and they have planter rails, like, in front of them. Someone was sitting and laying on the planter rails. Me- need I remind you that those planter rails are not made for human beings to hold, you know, people, but to hold, like, plants, and that's about it. And someone was sitting and laying on it, like, a good six stories up. And so they were taking pictures of themselves, and then someone caught them and were like, hey, someone is sitting on this thing. So, like, it is full of weirdos. Like, and, and then not also, to mention stuff like sexual assaults happening at conventions because of uh, drinking and lots of unattended drinks and lots of partying going on. Don't drink. And don't take drinks from people. So pour your own drinks if possible. If you're going to have a good time, do sealed it with Sealed containers. Friends. Do it with friends. Sealed containers. Keep your drink around you at all times. Or be safe and don't drink at all. If you were if you're drinking by yourself, it's not a safe thing to do. Uh, let's see. If you're going to be at the same event as your online furry friends, set up a time to meet during the event. Uh, well, that's just a good advice in general for parties. This is something that that was something I was taught in high school uh, at my actual school. They they taught us like, hey, don't leave drinks unattended. Special events dif- differ from convention to convention. That you but you might be able to catch a great concert, fursuit dance competition. Or discussion panel during your fa- uh, featuring your favorite animator. Watch videos of furry convention events online if you're curious to see what they're all about. I did. I, that's how I first got into it. <laughs> oh lord, what is that? The little pink why creature. Does it, why does it look like a fucking like? It looks like Pinkie, Pinkie Pie. Pie if they were a fox. And who is fucking Mr. Chatted up there? Holy shit. Yeah, that jawline. Sex and a pill. What the fuck? Get involved in the local furry group. Many communities around... Okay, this should have been the first one, yeah. honestly. Many com- communities around the world have their own furry groups. Run a search for furries in your area. <laughs> the furries in my area. Rapidly approaching. All the single furries. All the single furries. All the single furries. <laughs> To find individuals or meet up groups nearby, check out the globe feature on the Furry Amino app. Don't use Furry Amino to find furries in your area. Once you find local furries, start up a chat and coordinate a way to get together. When you meet up, have fun. Try out some role playing games. Act out your personas. Role playing games? Don't don't act out your persona. <laughs> that's it's kind of that's kind of like uncomfortable. Create fan art together and take photos in your. Well, I think most of the time when you get up to, it's so weird. This feels what? out of touch. When I th- when I think of people acting out their personas, I think of people acting out like their D D characters and just being absolute bastards to each other. And it's like, oh, sorry, it's just part of my character. Remember to be careful when meeting up with people. Oh God, uh, you meet online. I-, I always peep the horror a little too early. Always use common sense and meet a- in a public place rather than a secluded private space. Let a trusted friend know where you're going and when, just in case. That's always good. Why would you? Advice. Why is it only reserved for this one? Yeah. Damn. Oh, what are the? That's a Neopet. That's literally a Neopet. This one? Yeah. Yeah, the rabbit, I think, is a Neopet. Socialize with other furries to form new friendships. There are quite a few... Oh, my God. This is the same thing. Yeah, this is just... This is the online one again. 
This is the make friends online again. Be welcoming. <laughs> oh, God. The one on number five. We got mm. the right in the thought bubble. That ain't Judy Hops. That's Judy fucking meth head over there. That's Judy <laughs> heroin. Methy Hops. Methy Hops. <laughs> the the one on the right looks like one of the creatures from where the wild things are. They, they all look like they smoke black tar heroin. <laughs> look at this one in the back. I've seen this one crawl into a gas station at 4 a.m. Little lot lizard over there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. too early. Yeah. Be welcoming and non-judgmental around other furries. You'll find a lot of creativity in the. F That's actually good advice for just people in general. So rather than judging and critiquing what other people are doing, be accepting and supportive of, of what and who you encounter. Speak to other furries with kindness and keep respect to and respect to keep up the positive and inclusive furry environment. The furry community is a place where all people, to, all kinds of people can really fit in, especially those who don't often feel like they do fit in. Yes, and sometimes that leads to a fault, but uh, that's that's a whole big other thing. Damn. God, Lord. She ugly, oh, but she's she, fucked up. She kind of bad. <laughs> Definitely a paper bag situation. <laughs> but, but, like she's not so bad if you like, you know, do that. She's all right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, she's not my type. I, I, I put my hand over the. Uh, <laughs> put my hand over the screen. She could be a little thicker. Forget your negative misconceptions about furries. That should have been like the first thing. That should have been like a warning right at the front. There are a lot of myths and rumors about the furry community circulating through the media. That oh, this this image was supposed to see it was supposed to be like, hey, furries aren't really all super sexual, and then we're just sitting here like slobbering. <laughs> uh oh, well, I, I mean, we're adults. We're allowed to be sexual. I hate that. I hate that like the media is like bastardizing the fucking like furry minors fandom. invading in adult spaces and then giving adults shit for liking adult things. Or, like, the outside of, like, adults doing weird things and cons and being consensual about it? Well, okay, Karen. I know you have a cuckold chair in your, in your fucking house. Everyone has honest. a cuck chair. Blue yeah, Bluey has a cuck chair. Yeah. It's 20 for 24. Ch uh, Everyone has a cuck Chili chair. Chili and Bandit have a cuck chair. Come on. You can participate no matter what you wear. Additionally, know that only a small percentage of furries focus on the erotic aspect of the fandom. You don't have to do anything like this in order to participate in the community. I don't know. I, I don't wouldn't know. say it's small, but I don't I, say there's a small percentage. I wouldn't say it's large. I just wouldn't say it's small either. I know a lot of people. I'm one of them. I wish I had a cuck chair back home. <laughs> you do. It's the kitchen chair. It's the one without the arms. No, Romo, the chair you're sitting in right now, watching us, that, that's the cuck chair. <laughs> you're calling Romo a cuck? <laughs> <laughs> that's it! They said it, not me! <laughs> It's more like 30-70. Yeah, 30-70 seems, seems a little more accurate. Wow, Mabel. <laughs> we should just have a stream where people come in to get burnt by Mabel. <laughs> As with many other dress-oriented fandoms, like cosplayers and sport fans, most furries simply enjoy expressing themselves, performing in a costume, and connecting with other fans on a social level. The majority of furries don't actually believe they're animals. Some might wish for animal traits or enjoy exploring them, but mo most furries are just expressing their fanship of anthropomorphic animals. It doesn't matter how many times you say that one, there are some people that are just going to refuse to believe it because they need to, something to justify dehumanizing them. While it's not what defines the furry fandom, be aware that you'll probably encounter some erotic fan art and other content of sexual nature. If you're not comfortable with that, try updating your search settings on different websites <laughs> and web browsers. Sticking with PG uh, rated Sticking with furry PG content. rated furry content only is entirely acceptable. I don't know, okay, don't be so like... that's what the PG stands for here. It stands for. If you want the PG, make sure you don't ever follow me on my on my Twitter. I I like how they put the R right on the boob. Crafting a persona. Or also I like how they made the PG a baby basically or a child as if Yeah. I mean there are some like I mean there's some the adults The most tired world weary child ever. This person is never drawn with like an anime art style so they don't have big expressive eyes like most furry art does. Oh the I just looked at her. I just looked at her again. The clod <laughs> hoppers on her that she had. Yeah, the the massive feet. That's oh definitely my... someone's thing. Yeah. Oh god. This might also be the artist thing. The artist barely disguised fetish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Crafting a persona. 
Choose an animal species to base your persona on. Personas are characters or avatars that furries use when socializing with other members of the furry community. Many furries start with canines, felines, and dragons when choosing their personas' physical characteristics. What? But, no, the most common are canines, felines, and foxes. But the possibilities are endless. So you're free to choose any species you desire, to create a hybrid, or develop a completely made-up creature. Wow, if only there was like a massive resource on YouTube.com where you could get everything you would ever need to know about creating an original brand new species. Uh, an original species, one might say. Uh, I, I wonder if, you, if it would be possible to subscribe to such a YouTube and like the video. For example, you might start with huge ears and a cute face of a fennec fox and yeah, give who it... the fuck would do that? That sounds kind of lame. Yeah, it's, it's honestly pretty cringe. And it's body bird-like legs and wings. Fen fennec fox with bird-like legs and wings. Listen, don't be sharks. Don't be a shark. Listen, it's bad territory right now. You don't want to be a shark. There's no, no, sharks are banned. Do some research into animal photographs or illustrations to see how each animal's anatomy works, then adapt it into your persona that can stand up on two legs. Feel free to create more than one persona if you like. Pick out colors and markings to make your persona unique. There are no rules when it comes to designing your persona's appearance. Feel free to use naturalistic colors and realistic markings, or go for bright hues and unusual patterns if you prefer. Try to have an unusual or uncommon pattern. Some certain patterns are overused or taken easily. But some are too complicated. Uh, y you should have some markings to help distinguish your fursona apart from other fursonas, because they all tend to look pretty similar with if they are all the same color. If you wish to buy a fursuit and make a very colorful fursona with many designs, it might be more expensive and the quality will go down. Oh my god! What the fuck is that thing? Consider, consider incorporating spots, stripes, splotchy designs, uh, facial details, feathers, scales, and other patterns and textures into your design. Refer to animal photos as inspiration for markings and colorful patterns. That one's not the worst. Damn, she's kind of bad, though. Yeah, not the worst one that we've seen. I think she's the Grip Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have to do that while I was drinking? You almost killed me. <laughs> she got that gluck gluck back out of there. <laughs> Why is she wearing lipstick, though? Would lipstick really work on a dog? I don't know. Some of the dogs I've seen that are drawn. Okay. Assign your fursona a personality and name. They, have... got, that me they got that mega tip kisser. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Mabel, please. <laughs> You're going to kill me. <laughs> These are funny and wrong. Alright, have fun when creating your fursona's personality. She's crafting another one in her head as we speak. <laughs> She's slapping her hands because she knows. She knows, I know. <laughs> those aren't dick sucking lips, those are dick slorping lips. <laughs> uh, we can't use all of these, you know that. Dick caressing lips. Dick settling down buying you a home lips. <laughs> dick pillow lips, lay the, lay the dick down in bed. <laughs> Stop it, Mabel, I know you're just trying to be funny, but it, it's kind of... It. Oh, my cheeks hurt. Uh. Listen, I've seen some big lips. Okay. All right. Well, we gotta we gotta keep moving. There's a lot of article to go through. We're only halfway done. For instance, your persona might represent your wild and outgoing side. If you tend to be a shy person, create a list of personality traits as well as likes and dislikes and other fun facts about your persona your persona's identity. Give them a unique name too. The level of similarity between you and your persona is entirely a matter of personal preference. Try using the persona your persona to show off your idealized self or explore an alter ego. Don't be afraid to modify your persona over time until it's just right. What is the source? What would be the possible source for these? I, if you like writing, try writing in... Okay, let's go. Uh, free animal base. Uh, free name of animal and base, yeah. DeviantArt spotted. Yeah, DeviantArt spotted. Don't go there. Uh, you should use bases if you don't know how to draw, but you want to... Because you do need a ref if you want to commission art of your fursona, you're going to need a ref, so it's a good idea to use free bases. There's a reason why they only have the uh, cropped DeviantR search bar up there. It's because below that, it's like 50 tons of inflation porn. <laughs> I'm telling you, inflation fetishes only use DeviantArt. Illustrate your persona if you want to create your own artwork. If you enjoy graphic design or drawing, tr transfer all your ideas onto the page or the screen. Use pencils and coloring tools or a digital... Okay, so fucking draw it. I get it. So this is like a... This is like a persona that's wearing someone else's PJs. Maybe they skinned another furry and is wearing their hide. Yeah, what the f*** does it even mean?
All right. Uh, can we share an artist to illustrate your persona if you prefer? Do not search up Sonic on DeviantArt at 3 a.m. <laughs> search through online furry communities to find artists who are willing to create artwork and illustrations for other furries. Send them a message or... Okay, this is just how to commission uh, them. Damn! She bad, but she, she got she the hourglass figure. Good lord. She's got a magazine. I've never heard of her. Furry. Furry. She, nah, she kind of ugly. ugly. I mean... <laughs> It's a butterface. It's, it's a, a butterface. A, it's a few drinks will fix it. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Is she? Is she got that hourglass? She got that. Her waist is snatched. <laughs> Whether you draw your own persona or commission an illustration, send the image as your profile picture on furry websites so other furries get a sense of what your persona identity is like. Consider getting it on printed T-shirts. No. Badges. Yes. Pins. Sure. Or get it made into a plushie. Someone needs eh. to make a wiki how on how to be me. I'd like to see that. If you want to get a first... <laughs> become highly cynical. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get a persona made, a fursuit made, make sure your persona has at least three view reference sheet, either drawn by you, colored on a base, or commissioned by a reference sheet artist. I don't think three, si three view is necessary. Two view is probably fine front back ah! it started so good it started so good it was like this is okay this looks fine and then it looks like a heroin addict <laughs> save up at least a thousand dollars if you want to buy a fursuit yeah this is old this needs to be updated save a uh, save up at least four thousand if you want Furry to get a with full power glass and their pinchable waist yeah for uh Fusoku, you know all about that you know all about the opposite of that. <laughs> despite that's fur based. Despite fursuiters being the minority, fursuits are a huge part of the fandom. They're fun to wear and can be just as entertaining to onlookers and non-furries. Fursuits are a big investment in a luxury item, so you need to save upward of $1,000. $1,000 will maybe get you the head now. Or at least $2,000 if you're in the market for a full-body suit. If you want to buy one, research how you get it made, and then make a savings plan so you will have enough money to cover the cost. Get an artist, go with someone who has a huge online presence, um, because they're less likely to scam you. There are still some people that might scam you by accident, or on purpose, but they're less likely to scam you if to they say have on a huge accident. Plan. How do you scam people on accident? Uh, you take on too much work than you can possibly finish, and you don't realize it until it's too late. I think that's different. I don't really think that's a scam. Hmm. I, don't, I think the people losing their money would consider it to be. I'm just saying is if a person has has more renown, they have more of an image to keep up, and they can't risk uh, anything bad happening. Laziness, overworking, dying. Dying. The reality of sunk cost. Where's the wiki how, how to become a fat fur artist? Let's see that. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see that. Let's, let's, let's wrap it up to that. Choose between getting a partial plant degrade or digit degrade. And yeah. Um, commission a fursuit maker. Oh my god, this is just going through the fucking processes. Yeah, this isn't how to this be... This is just this, going... This is supposed to be three ways to be a furry. This is three ways to... Like, this is how to be a furry, how to monetize being a furry, and how to get a fursuit. Oh, it's at the end. That's it? I think it was I thought we were. I thought we were talking about that you don't need a fursuit to be a furry. Why are you giving us that instructions? Oh, you can vote without signing in. Alright, so that was three ways to be a furry, and that covered... Joining the furry community, crafting a fursona, crafting fursona, and then making a fursuit, which is, yeah, this, I guess that's the pipeline. When but... we get a Lego furry instructions, they have that. It's called Animal Crossing Legos. <laughs> Y'all buy me one. All right. Specifically with the Isabel one, so I can put it in a jar. We're going to stop this recording here and start the next one. Uh, this was 45 minutes long, so we gotta we got to get on to the next one. Thanks again to my patrons on Patreon. Awesome people like you make community fun like this possible. So thanks to Rask, River, Wild Kitty 69, Beav, Fanto for Royale, Bait, Cryptid Artha, Sly, Colorado Blue, Vader San, Blonsk, Linky, Kit Chimera, Series, and Malding Brick. Thanks so much for helping out, and I hope you enjoyed the video.